Many people have contacted me and have asked the question, what are the predictions of your theory? They have said that it cannot be a true theory unless it gives predictions. Therefore, I have made this video explaining the predictions of quantum atom theory and artist theory on the physics of time as a physical process. First, I will quickly explain the main principles of this theory. The whole theory is based on just two simple postulates. The first is that the quantum wave particle function, or probability function, of quantum mechanics represents the forward passage of time itself, with the future coming into existence, photon by photon, within an infinite number of reference frames. The second is that quantum uncertainty, known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, that is formed by the wave function, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. The universe is a dynamic physical process that can be explained by physics. It is not static, it is dynamic and interactive, moving when we move, coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. This is a universal process, from the largest planet to the smallest creature. Even an individual artist will create his or her own future relative to the energy and momentum of their own actions. Therefore the Planck constant is a constant of action in the fabric of space-time, and we have an arrow of time for each individual reference frame. Even an individual rose blooming will create its own arrow of time within its own reference frame, having a past and a future relative to its own energy and momentum. Now I will explain the first predictions of this theory. This theory predicts that the organization, or low entropy, that creates the possibility for the continuous increase in disorganization of statistical entropy that we have in the second law of thermodynamics is formed by a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking at the quantum level of the atoms. Nothing has greater organization or lower entropy than a sphere, and the electron is the most spherical object in the universe. In this theory, time is a physical process of energy exchange, with the future unfolding with each photon-electron coupling. This leads to the second prediction of this theory. Because this whole process can be seen as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, it forms the imperfect spiral symmetry of life that is visible in nature. This theory predicts that the Fibonacci spiral is not formed because of economy of space or economy of growth, but because space and time is being formed by this process of symmetry breaking. The Fibonacci numbers that represent the Fibonacci spiral mathematically lead directly to the third prediction of this theory. Richard Feynman, in one of his physics lectures, said that every theoretical physicist is trying to find a reason for the size of the fine structure constant, 137. The coupling constant, or fine structure constant, is an irrational number that never ends and continues into infinity. This theory predicts that the fine structure constant is a geometrical constant in the physical process that forms the dynamic geometry of space-time, and is the size it is, because if you take any two consecutive numbers of the Fibonacci series greater than the number 8 and form them into a fraction, if you then multiply by 360 to get 222, and then subtract this from 360, the result will always be 137. The great benefit of having a theory with predictions is that if the predictions can be proved wrong, then the whole theory is wrong, but if the predictions cannot be proved wrong and fit in with observations and mathematics, then it adds credibility to the theory. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. It will help in the promotion of this theory.